our gathering hymn today will be number 443. 443, O oh Lord, I am not worthy. 443. Uh, gathering hand number 443, O oh Lord, I am not worthy. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come to me, but speak <coughs> the word of comfort, my spirit he'll show thee, and humbly I'll receive thee. The bridegroom of my soul, no more by sin to grieve thee, or fly thy sweet control. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading 
from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Look, answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes that I may not sleep in death, lest my enemies say I have overcome him, lest my foes rejoice at my downfall. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Let me sing to the Lord, he has been good to me. My hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to possess and the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside, knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, we ate and drank in your company and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers, and there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out, and the people will come from the east and the west, and from the north and the south, and will recline a table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes, most of the people that walks with Jesus in his way to the far villages will ask a lot of questions. Most of the questions are out of 
ignorance, or shall we say, they just wanted to learn. But some questions also implies in a different way. It is certain disposition of the person that the person just simply wanted to confirm and challenge the Lord Jesus. Just like in the question in our gospel today, Lord, will only a few people be saved? This question implies about thinking that there will only be few people who will be saved or the concept of a certain exclusivistic way of looking at salvation. During those times, they will always thought that it is only the chosen ones, the chosen people, or particularly the Jews will only be saved. They only thought that there is only selected few who will be able to obtain the kingdom of God. It is by way of identity or by way of selection. It is not by way of what we call worthiness. And that is why Jesus would elaborate to answer this question. As he would say, the basis is always about their knowledge of Jesus and Jesus' knowledge of them as well. Jesus is trying to tell his disciples that salvation is extended to anybody who is able to find and see Jesus himself in their very lives. That was what the Lord Jesus would try at the end of the gospel, as he said, you will just simply be surprised that what you see in the end times would be very different. Those people you thought that never be able to go to the kingdom of God are there. And those who expected that they are there won't be there. I think, my dear friends, for Jesus, for us also in this journey in life, is for us to find that meaning and discover what the Lord has truly prepared for all of us. The Lord will always look us deep inside our own very heart. Salvation is not something that we claim and we shall say that we are entitled about. It is something that we have lived upon deep inside our own very hearts that in the last time, it is God who will vary looking at us, especially also the one reflecting in his heart and ours. Our praise and worship of the Lord will account nothing if we do not strive to enter the narrow gate through our love and service of our brothers and sisters. May our prayers and worship bear fruit to God through our good deeds. May the church set aside narrow preconceptions of salvation, holding that nobody is outside the sphere of God's love in Jesus, except those who willingly stay outside of it. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May believers be wary of preachers who declare that only those who belong to their group will be saved. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May people be warned that the worship they do on Sundays cannot cover the wickedness that they do on other days of the week. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we realize that the love of God does not bypass the narrow gate of salvation, so we must be ready to carry our cross in our following of Jesus. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. At the end of our life, may we find ourselves with righteous people from the four corners of the earth sitting at the table in the kingdom of God. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. The special intention of Arion and Nicole Snyder, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, two roads are open to us, the wide path of seeking our self-interest and the narrow path of obedience to your will. May we choose the narrow path, for it leads to salvation. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 527, 527, The Supper of the Lord. Precious body, precious blood, Seen as bread on wine, hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is full. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to <coughs> us, to all the Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is full. Share the supper of the Lord. Pray, my dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be been acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, and these offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to the glory of your name, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. In Him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself. And the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and the dominions and all the hosts, and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Oh, 
You are indeed the Holy Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Unto, unto you, you come, unto, unto you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy that will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin, and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 <clears throat> the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
As you go to the sick and the homebound, take not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community. As for the prayers of those whom you have to visit and return, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. <clears throat> May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 433. <clears throat> 433, I have loved you. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Is this 